What's up, everybody? Yeah, we're back. <laughs> All right. So, I kind of want to segue this video. You're, everybody leaves town. Everybody has to split. Everybody has to worry about their pets. Uh, fish tanks in particular. Um, you know, your dog, your cat, whatever. They got boarding for those. We don't have boarding for fish. So... Like I said, I want to segue this with a, a little story. I was out of town. I was working for two weeks. Uh, I got a phone call from my son. Uh, my son was coming every day, taking care of my fish tanks, making sure everything is okay, feeding them, that kind of stuff. So I was gone for two weeks. And he calls me up, says, Dad, your fish tank is like falling over. And I don't know what to do. I said, is the filter running? He said, no, the filter's not running, and there's water all over your carpet. I was like, ah, because, you know, carpet's expensive. So he, um, I said, look, what you got to do is drain the tank, and it was actually that tank right there, and it was on a stand similar to this, but not this. Um, you know, the, the thing said it'll hold 500 pounds, and, you know, I figured uh, 8.25 times 40 did not quite equal 500 but anyway, it's neither here nor there. Um, so it went through the thin piece of wood that was on the shelf and it landed on the floor and you know, it only fell about that far, but it was up high enough to where the filter was out of the water, it wasn't running. So I had him drain the tank, you know, pick the tank up off the shelf, take the piece of wood out, take the tank and put it back, you know, in the little slot where the piece of wood would have been right there on, on, the, on the floor. So, he did all that did exactly what i asked him to do now my son is experienced with salt water he doesn't know anything about fresh water um salt water tanks you know you have an ro system when you're doing your 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 top offs and you know when you're doing your water changes you're actually mixing salt water the whole night he doesn't know anything about dechlorinating city water for a fresh water tank because all he's ever known was ro water um didn't even cross his mind. I, knowing that he knows fish, was like, it's no big deal. He knows what he's doing. Good to go. So I came home. I, I, I want to say it was the next day or the day after. I know that he was going to miss a day, and then I was coming home. So I was like, I don't worry about it. I'll be there. I got home. I walked in the room, and all my Mbuna were floating. Um, I was not happy. Jumped on the phone. What did you do to my fish tank? How dare you? All my babies are dead. I wanted to blame somebody. Um, truth is, it wasn't his fault. He just didn't didn't know, didn't have that experience. Uh, so it's not his fault, it's mine. Uh, my tank, my responsibility, all these little lives are in my hands, not his. So bottom line when we're going through this video is if you have somebody taking care of your tanks, whatever happens, and I've heard some stories. Uh, kids pouring milk in, in, in the tanks. Um, I have 20 pounds of raisins in my tank. How did they get there? I've heard all the stories. Whatever the story is, it's your fault. I know it's hard to accept it. It's hard to believe that it's your fault when you weren't even there. It's your fault. Your tank, your responsibility, your problem not theirs um all right so i just had surgery on wednesday two weeks i'm not supposed to lift anything bend over the whole nine you know back surgery is kind of like one of those things where they tell you you can't do things and it's uh sucks but uh if you're gonna recover right you're not supposed to do these things obviously i can feed my fish because you know i can walk around i can drop food in there but Let's say I was stuck in the hospital for two weeks. We had complications. I had to stay there. Um, what would I do? Well, I'd be stuck, right? Because I didn't pre-plan um, not being home to feed my fish. So we can go about a week uh, with most. When I say most, I don't mean chili rasboras or your guppy fry. But most... Uh, fish can handle a week without any food. They're going to be okay. No need to panic. It's all right. 
Uh, but going two weeks, you're, you're, it's stretching it. It's bad. So let's not go two weeks. Let's pre-plan this. Um, the way that I pre-plan when I'm leaving town or I know something like this is going on, I go grab souffle cups, you know, any little plastic cups, doesn't matter. Uh, you can use any of those. You can get them at Costco, Sam's, they're cheap. Use that. Portion out the, the feedings for your fish in those souffle cups. Uh, so if you're feeding a pinch, you know, you know, put a pinch in each each one. If you're feeding twice a day, two pinches, whatever the situation is that you got going on, um, you know, portion your food out. So if you have somebody coming over to feed your tanks, they know to take that souffle cup, pour it in your tank, and that's all they have to do. Don't do anything else, please. Just feed that. Now, if you're not prepared and somebody's coming over, they're grabbing that big bottle right there, and they're grabbing this, and then they're, that's like disaster, right? Well, yeah, it is a disaster. So you gotta tell them, look, you know, take your thumb, you know, you're gonna lay it flat on your thumb and then just dump it in there or something, gauge it somehow. Communicate to them how they need to feed your tank, or the other option is you can go about seven days without feeding them. They're going to be okay. Um, but on that seventh day, they need that nutrition. They need that food. So, and they, they can't just take it for one day and then skip for another seven days. They need it for a couple days. So maybe like four feedings, um, something where you can feed them in the morning, in the evening, and then the following day, I'm, I'm thinking like Saturday and Sunday because, you know, people are off on the weekends. They can come by maybe twice a day and then do it again on a Sunday, you know, in the morning and then in the evening, feeding just that specific amount that you want. And then they'll be fine again for, you know, the other five days that you're going to be gone. All right. So when you get back, um, obviously two weeks, you're going to need to do a water change. Uh, before you leave, you need to have that dechlorinator at your house ready to go. Uh, in case you do come home to that disaster. Now, we all have that disaster. It happens to every one of us eventually. Uh, you may not have had it yet because you're a great planner, but eventually you're going to have the problem. You come home, your tank is just completely clouded because it was overfed. Um, you know, your filter's barely working because it's so gunked up. There's no need to panic. Um, best way to solve both these problems is with the water change. And since you are already planning, you went and got the dechlorinator, so you're already ready for your water change. Um, you're gonna take a bucket or a pail, something, uh, Tupperware, doesn't matter. Uh, your filter that's in the back, since it's been so heavily fed, is gonna be gunked up, you know, the pad that comes in the back. Um, if you're running bigger filters, like canisters and that kind of stuff, uh, you. You just want to take the tank water out of your tank, put it directly into the bucket, Tupperware, whatever. Take that media that's in there and just kind of rinse it off. You want to do this quickly. It's not something that you want to spend a lot of time on, and it's not something where you want it perfectly clean. That's bad. You don't want a perfectly clean filter at any point <laughs> um, in your fish keeping days. But um, take that... Take that filter pad, just rinse it off really quick. Get all the major gunk off of it. Leave it dirty. It's okay. You just want it to be able to keep grabbing those fine particles that are in your water because that's, you know, that's that detritus. That's that leftover food. Uh, that's fish crap. You don't want it in your tank. So let's get rid of it, right? Okay. So do that within, if you have a filter pad, like a hang on back filter, it's just something you take out. Take it out rinse it off get it back in the tank within like 20 seconds challenge yourself you can do it uh the longer it's out of that tank water the more likely you're going to lose bacteria so do it quickly uh that's the first thing second thing is you need to get that water change done uh all that cloudiness and all that stuff that's in there is just generating ammonia 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 and you need to get your bacteria most likely isn't going to be able to keep up with all that. So you need to get that water out of there and put fresh water in just so we can get rid of that ammonia, nitrate, nitrate. Okay. So 
That's the easy part. Save yourself a ton of like cleaning time. Get one of these. Okay, this this one here has two plugs and it was like six bucks. But you can pick these up for like three dollars and fifty cents. All it is is a 24-hour timer. Set your lights to six hours while you're gone. Uh, if you have somebody coming over at a specific time to feed your fish, you know, set it right in the middle there. So if they're coming over at five o'clock after they get off work, you know, start it up at like two o'clock and then turn it off at eight o'clock. And that five o'clock would be right in the center. That's, you know, peak light for your tank. Buy this for three fifty or four bucks. All right, the other option is an auto feeder. Um, auto feeders are good and they can be bad. Um, the first major concern with an auto feeder is they run on batteries. So if you have a dead battery in it, your fish aren't getting fed. That's number one. So make sure you got fresh batteries in it. Number two, uh, some of them are adjustable and some of them are adjustable to feed once a day and the amount that it actually feeds. There's like a little bucket in there and it spins. And when that hole tips over, the bottom of the hole, it just drops the food right out. So if it's feeding twice a day and you have a bunch of small tetras in there, you're probably overfeeding the tank uh, with that auto feeder. So just kind of be careful with what you're buying. Um, there are options, you know, like me, I keep Phoenix Rasporas, Chili Rasporas, they're tiny, little things. They don't need a lot of food. I literally feed them like two beta pellets that are not even a millimeter big they're tiny i think they're half millimeter even and i feed them like three or four of those a day that's all they get um so you're overfeeding that tank you can take just a piece of tape and put it over half the hole and it you know it'll hold in half the food that would normally be fed um that's one option so uh the other option is that it is mechanical so if it doesn't work it breaks you got another problem because your fish aren't getting fed. Um, that's why it's always good to have somebody, if you're gone for two weeks, a week is, you're good, it's easy enough. If you're gone for two weeks, this is where your problems really start. You could have somebody come over, you know, you leave on Friday, have them come over like the Saturday of the following week, uh, just to check on everything. Um, you know, make sure that your little auto feeder is sitting there spinning or making noise, have them listen to it. And, you know, it kind of has a specific time, like if you set the little hole in the bottom, you'll know that, you know, when you come back every 24 hours, that hole should be on the bottom. Just have them check it, make sure it's working. Uh, just be, be specific. Um, what other advice can I give you? 38 years of fish keeping. I've been doing this a long time uh, and I wasn't always good at it. So, uh, that's really the best advice that I can give you, I guess. But uh, anyway, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and uh, we'll get to that. I really appreciate you all watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that red button right there. And uh, we'll start uploading a lot more videos for you here soon. Talk to you all later. Peace.